Hey guys, Bob here from Bob's World, aka Shake and Bake. We're inside. A, we're, we're, uh, a new chapter is unfolding because I live in Minnesota. The rain is coming down. Pretty soon it's going to be snow. We're going to be snowed in. Um, and the weather is not going to be good for flying outside. There might be some more days coming. So working hard on flying indoors. And we're going to fly indoors today in my little small house that we love. Uh, this old late 1800s Midwest home. And tight, tight, tight. And what we're going to do in this video is um, we're going to fly one, two, three, four, five tiny whoops. And I'm going to talk about, as I'm flying them, what I kind of like about each of them in regards to flying indoors. And I already did a test run. I really kind of, I'm already leaning towards one, but I want to show you these. Okay, we're going to start off with 75 millimeter. This is the Air 75, changed out the frame and... Um, change out the props and uh, we're gonna fly around now I want you to know I did bump all these down um, their power the motor power I bumped them all down so I could fly indoor indoors because otherwise I feel like they're too fast for my small space so without further ado and I'll tell you I, I went through and have named all of these finally and this first one thanks to the help I posted this in uh, on the YouTube channel, and I'll have to get the name of the person uh, who, who gave me the idea for this one. Um, and uh, this is analog, so let's switch to analog. And this is Lilac Lightning. So let's do it. 75 millimeter, toned way down. So otherwise, again, my space is too small to be running these motors at full tilt as you can see um, flying indoors man tight quarters is uh, is a challenge but at least it allows me to have some stick time and I think will improve my, I was so close my skills as well let's do a little toilet bowl and uh and then while i'm flying i'll also tell you guys man guys i think this might be my first video since the race i did in the cities and that was so much fun um i had a blast i learned a ton about whoop, a tiny whoop racing but obviously obviously i'm still a newbie uh but okay the so air 75 live lack lightning uh, is flying pretty good indoors with its power turned down. I think I got this thing down like to 80%. Uh, just so I feel like it's somewhat manageable in this small space. This toilet bowl down. Oh, yeah. This is so much fun, guys. This is the great thing about um, Tiny Whoops is you, you can still in the winter get some stick time and this i mean this kind of looks like it might be easy but i feel like it's pretty challenging to fly in these small spaces like this because you're always having to really stay on that throttle so that you don't uh fly up in the ceiling or near your freaking tv But this is fun right here. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this one's pretty good so far. Air 75. It feels pretty man manageable. I feel like with the power down, I uh, am I'm flying. Oh, I am flying in air mode for all of these, not angled. Let's go and land. We get low on the battery. Okay. First flight, Lilac Lightning Air 75 with changed out frame and uh props the frame that come, came with these I, I broke in two spots like the first day i flew it um so that's why i changed out to these and if you know what frames are i could tell you uh i get pretty much everything off um tinywhoop.com just because they're in colorado they're close to where i'm at so i get them quick and i like to support the small companies all right next up is the new HD Zero AIO all-in-one board. It's a custom build. 
with, I believe, yeah, the Eco Camera on board, and I call this one Magoo after my long lost dog. Okay, so it just reminds me for some reason of Magoo. All right, so let's fly this one around and I'll talk about this. All of these again are powered down um, quite a bit. All right, let's change to HD zero here. Not this is HD zero eco camera, not analog. And let's go. Now, so right away I can tell this is a little lighter, obviously. Not much. That that Air Swing Five is pretty damn light. And uh, but this is feeling pretty nimble. Oh, let's go, let's go. This all-in-one board is so fun, man. It's so easy to put together. Okay, okay, you can see already a difference. I'm feeling a little more confident. Toilet the bowl around, down. A little bump there, that's right. Okay, let's go. So this is uh, Magoo. Again, HD Zero, Eco Camera, AIO, the new AIO board, five and one. Really easy to build you a tiny whoop with this now. Um, I should have told you guys, I should have, you know what I should have done? I should have told you the weights of these, but I, I'll do that another one, I guess. Oh, okay, first crash. All right, let's flip her over. That's going to happen. All right, here we go. I will say one thing. It seems like this board gets warm pretty quick. But that could be just... I don't think the house is that warm, but maybe it is. But man, this is flying good. I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man, I was humbled when I saw how some of those pilots flew at that event. I mean, those guys were so fast. Um, but it's all level, so, you know, you, you can show up brand new. And uh, like I did and have fun and learn some stuff. Okay, so that was Magoo, the 5-in-1 from HD Zero, the new board, Eco Camera. Flew pretty good. Um Let's move this down the line. Next up, now this one is the rocket. <laughs> this is the new uh, analog newbie drone, race spec drone. This is my lightest drone. This thing is like, I think 17 grams, oh, 16 and a half. This thing is an absolute rocket. Now I'm gonna tell you guys what I put the motors down to. Uh, don't laugh, but they're at 60, yes, 60%. And let's see, what did I call this one? I called this one, what did I call this? I called this one, again, this one is um, analog. This is the, three point, uh, the Hummingbird V3.1 race spec. I call this one, I call this one light speed now. Flying this in here, guys. This thing, it feels like there's like you're not even flying anything. It is so light, and you can feel that in the stick. It just, it just rips. Um, and even with the motors turned down, it is, uh, it is absolute rocket. Um, oh shit, my battery's dead. Hold on, guys. Let me get that. Um, I mean, look how it just jumped up. And again, that's a 60%. So this one is a freaking handful. And I can tell you already, and it's just my pilot skills that this would not be in this small space my choice for... Um, I mean, it is, but it's, it's just, it just, it just wants to go. It wants to take off. 
and then I get kind of nervous. I'm going to hit my damn TV. So it just feels a little too much. Again, for this size, and maybe if I practice some more with it. The problem is when you give any any throttle to it, man, it just jumps. And I'm just not used to it. I mean, you can see, dudes, it is like fast. Like ridiculously fast. Okay, let me do a little more here. Let's get this pack done. I mean, I'm just fighting it. I'm just kind of like not relaxed with this one. I'm more like in panic mode. Ooh, yeah, okay. Enough of that one. Our next one up is the new uh, HD Zero all-in-one board uh, freestyle with the Lux camera on board, which stands, I guess, for luxury. <laughs> so, um, this one, uh, we'll see how this one goes. I've flown this a little bit. I don't feel like I've flown it enough to like do a review though. So let's uh, see how this flies. Again, I toned this down for inside. Um, but wait till you see this. I do have it set to 16 by 9. And what's cool about this camera, if you if you like this, one is the quality is outstanding. You're going to see in a minute. The other is um, it's full screen. So I call this one Luxy. Okay. <laughs> this is Luxy. And look at that. Look at the camera. You know, if you want a really good camera, guys, you know, you're going to have a little... It's still light, though. I mean, this one's still light. Uh, light, you know, light enough, I think, for flying tiny hoops. I mean, is it a racing drone? Obviously not. I mean, it's called a freestyle drone. But for just carving around the house, like, I really like this one. I feel like it's manageable. I got the power turned down. Uh, you got the full screen. I mean, it is a little bubbled out, you know, a little fish-eyed. You kind of have to get used to that. But once I did, you know, this I think is a good one for in the house. And if you care about a good picture, this Lux camera is pretty damn sexy. Um, and you can put it 4 by 3 if you want. I just wanted you to see this 16 by 9 feature. But look at this, it's like in control. In control, doesn't feel out of control. I like that. Just carbon bone. I love it. Let's hit some, let's take it through here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Just control, look at this, look at that, look at that bone. Love it, and that picture, man, is so crystal clear. Toilet bowl. Through up right there. I mean, that was just for me, that was a great save. Like, I'm actually tempted. I want to do a 75 millimeter build. I think my next build is going to be a 75 with the Lux camera on board. I'm loving this, guys. I'm loving this. The more I fly this, the more I'm falling in love with this, baby. Just feeling confident with this, baby. Let's go. This is, again, the new HD Zero Freestyle. This is Luxie Freestyle uh, HD Zero AI, AIO Board All-in-One Board with the Lux camera. You can do full screen 16 by nine. I like flying this one. So, so far, um, Lilac Lightning's been great. The, this Lux one was awesome. Um, definitely this 
3.1 uh, race spec was, I felt too fast for me in this small house. Um, Magoo was pretty darn good too. Um, but now we're gonna try one. <laughs> Guys, this one I've had probably the longest. Uh, this is the original uh, Mobula 6 Eco, and it's got the two boards, the Eco camera, um, and you're, I call this one, and, you're, and it's going to be obvious why I call this one, I call this one um, Fat Boy. And I call it Fat Boy because it's heavy. It's heavier than all these drones. It's heavier than the 70... It's heavier than the 75 um, millimeter. Um... It's a fat boy, but I'm so used to this drone and the weight of it that, um, I mean, you do get less flight time, but I don't know. I'm just so used to this because probably because I've uh, flown it the longest that I can kind of rip this drone. And in some ways, the weight kind of makes it more stable, if that makes sense. Um, but this one is really predictable for me just because I'm so used to it. But this one, again, I call Fat Boy because it weighs a lot for a tiny whoop. But again, unless you're like a racer or something or you're trying to, like, I guess, get the lightest drone, you can have a heavier tiny whoop if you have fun flying it. Uh, you might not get as long a flight time depending on how you fly it. But um, I mean, flat, Fat Boy here handles pretty darn good. It's predictable and that's what I like about it. Just carbon. It kind of reminds me of the Lux a little bit. The Lux I think might edge this out once I get more used to it. But um, that was pretty smooth guys. Look at that. It's got This one's got some good motors on it. Um, I did change out the motors on this one. I'll look to see what they are, but uh, yeah, this one I've had the longest. I mean, I'm starting to get a little more comfortable. Again, I mean, the Fat Boy, I mean, what do you guys think? You're watching the flying. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I mean, I'm, again, Ooh, don't hit the TV, Bob. That was a fat boy. So I'd say in order, once we get race spec, I can't handle it indoors. Not in this small space. Um, Lilac Lightning, 75 millimeter, flew, it was fun, worked good. Bumped the power down, I think like 80%. This new uh, freestyle from Mobile 6 uh, with the all-in-one board, the Lux camera, Luxy, was fun to fly, awesome picture. 16 by nine was kind of a cool feature. Uh, Fat Boy, uh, I'm not taking Fat Boy apart. Fat Boy is, I can rip with Fat Boy, even though it's really heavier. It's heavier than the 75. Eco Camera, the original two boards on there. I love it. And then this one I built, this is Magoo, has the Eco all in one board. Um, this flew good too. So I'm going to keep ripping these indoors. I'd love to hear your thoughts about flying in a really small space indoors. When I watch some of those guys, like, infinity loops those guys flying so i don't even know how they do it like it's insane when i see them flying the small spaces doing power loops and all that like i don't even know how that's possible <laughs> so, i guess a lot of practice and to be talented so all right guys cheers peace have an awesome uh week hope you get some flying in and uh, we're gonna keep looking for some indoor places to fly and again um it was if you get a chance if you ever thinking about doing like a tiny loop race like official race uh, through multi-GP. Go do it. Find a chapter in your area. It's a lot of fun. I learned a ton. All right, guys. Take care. Cheers. Peace.